In the film Chongqing Express, there's this cool low shutter style. I've seen this referred to as step printing or stop motion or low shutter. In recent years, this effect has also become very popular in music videos, especially such as Travis Scott's music videos. And I want to show you a really easy way to recreate this in After Effects without even having to have shot it in a low shutter speed or anything particular. So there's two really cool effects that we're going to use and they're in the time video effects folder. So on the right hand side in the effects and presets panel, you should have the time folder and in there you have the CC wide time and the posterized time effect. So if we're working on a clip, I can simply drag the CC wide time effect onto that clip and this allows us to increase the steps forward and back so we can go, you know, 5 to 20, however many, so 10 steps forward and that'll kind of add these frames in a blurring sense and we can also go backwards. So a few steps backwards. You'll notice the video kind of gets transparent a little bit because there is nothing before the first frame. But as it plays, we go from a regular video to this stop motion, blurry motion trail effect. And the other cool thing that we can do is add a posterized time effect. So what this will do is it'll kind of only show a certain amount of frames per second. So instead of getting a smooth motion effect, which is also cool, we can take it down to like four frames per second. And now this is where we're going to get that kind of step motion, stop motion type of look. And it, it can get especially cool when there's lots of camera movement, whipping and panning around, or if the subject of the video is also doing a lot of hand mo movements or whatever in the mo more modern style. So it's a really simple effect, but you can play around with these two wide time and posterized time and after effects to easily create some really cool special effects and cutscenes for your videos, films, projects, or music videos. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of the other tutorials I've done on all of the time effects and after effects in the playlist on my channel. You can subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.